Athanasios Stratis. Uh, I work in Bobartia and Transportation uh, in Westeros, Sweden. Uh, my current uh, job position is TCMS Test Lead. And uh, today we will talk a little bit about uh, an approach that we have uh, specified in Bobartier in order to validate uh, our simulation, uh, the hardware in the loop simulation that we have, uh, in order to test uh, the safety critical system that we develop. Uh, so this is briefly the agenda for today. Uh, first, I will uh, give you a short introduction on what is the product that we develop, uh, which is TCMS. And then we will focus a little bit more on how uh, we test TCMS and the different uh, test levels that we have. Then we will discuss about the simulator, uh, the VCS as we call it, Vehicle Control Simulator. And then we will give uh, the, the majority of the focus uh, on the way we certify TCMS and the way we certify VCS as well. At the end, we will have a few slides uh, also for the results and uh, then some room for questions, hopefully. Uh, so Bobardier is, uh, Bobardier is a company that develop, uh, develops trains. Uh, so we belong to the railway industry. Uh, and uh, as you all know, uh, there is a very high demand uh, in safety, uh, security and reliability, uh, which leads, of course, uh, to, to high demand uh, of uh, uh, software complexity. And uh, in order to deal with this, uh, we have to follow some uh, standards uh, which basically specify all the processes that we have to follow uh, in our development process in order to be able to, to provide uh, software that is uh, safe, secure and, uh, and uh, reliable. Uh, so the standard uh, provides uh, some processes that we have to follow and of course we follow those processes, uh, but of course there is some small room, room for realizing uh, those processes in uh, some different ways. And this is uh, what we have uh, used actually in order to, to validate our simulator. Um, now a few words about TCMS. Uh, TCMS is the product that we develop. Uh, it is the train control and management system, the full name. Uh, we used to call it the, the, the brain of the train and the reason for that is because essentially it controls and supervises uh, all the systems on the train. So it is composed of software that is downloaded in hardware devices uh, that, are, uh, 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 that are part of the train. Uh, and essentially it provides visualization uh, to the driver, so he knows the exact, exact status uh, of the train, uh, but also <coughs> towards the passengers with different screens and displays and so on. Uh, it provides a very reliable system of uh, diagnostics, uh, live towards the driver, but also towards uh, the wayside system. Uh, and of course, uh, as I said, uh, it is part of, uh, of the train itself, uh, so it, it communicates. It's a big network that communicates with all the subsystems, for example, uh, the door system, uh, brake system, uh, power supply system, and, and so on. Um, so now the question is, how do we test? TCMS uh, in our company and um, well in general we follow the VNV model verification and validation uh, so as you see we start of course with a software requirement phase uh, then we move forward uh, to, to the software design phase where we design uh, the architecture of our system uh, this overlaps uh, quite a lot with the implementation phase uh, we start obviously with a component implementation and then we go to the right side of the V model. Uh, we start the component testing, uh, integration testing. And at the end, we have the phase that we call software validation, where we basically execute a, a set of test cases that prove uh, that, that uh, our software behaves as, expect as expected. And at the end, we have, uh, of course, the software maintenance phase, where we perform minor changes uh, in, in our code. Um, Therefore, we have uh, different le test levels. Uh, we start with a component level, uh, where we test each component in isolation, independently uh, from the other components. Uh, then we have the so-called device level, uh, where we test every device that uh, creates the TCMS independently. Uh, and then we move forward with the integration level. Uh, there we, we test all the integration uh, between the TCMS uh, devices, but also the, the uh, interface of TCMS with all the other subsystems. And at the end, we have the system level test, as I said, uh, where we basically we want to, to, to validate uh, that uh, our software meets uh, all the requirements uh, that uh, we have specified. 
Uh, but then it comes this challenge uh, that uh, we cannot really use the train uh, completely in order to test TCMS. Uh, basically, it is impractical to wait uh, to have one train assembled and then download the software to the devices and then start testing. Uh, if you do it that way, first of all, it's very time consuming. Uh, it's very expensive uh, to, to execute all the tests on the train. And uh, obviously, you will find errors and faults uh, too late in the complete project lifecycle, which will lead basically to the project to fail. Um, because of this, uh, we came up with the idea to use a simulator uh, that we call a vehicle control simulator. Uh, this is an application that we have developed internally uh, in the company. Uh, essentially, uh, the VCS uh, acts as an interface uh, between TCMS and uh, all the subsystems uh, that it simulates. Uh, you can see here in the circle different names, doors, fire, uh, propulsion, and so on. All, all these subsystems are simulated in our application uh, to the extent that need to be simulated in order to properly test uh, our software. In that sense, uh, VCS has the possibility to read all the outputs uh, from TCMS uh, and simulate all the inputs that uh, TCMS needs. Uh, that way, you have the possibility to find faults uh, much faster uh, in the project lifecycle. Uh, testing is easier. It's also more fun because you can execute uh, the tests again and again uh, with very low cost. Uh, and of course, increases uh, the complete uh, team uh, productivity which leads, of course, at the end to minimize uh, the expensive testing uh, on the train. And then the question is, uh, what is this certifying TCMS uh, or validating TCMS? Uh, as you remember, I'll go back a little bit in the project, sorry, here. Uh, at the end, we have this uh, phase that we call software validation phase. And during this phase, we focus uh, on uh, verifying all the TCMS requirements, functional and non-functional, of course. Uh, so basically, we, we, we execute uh, all the test cases uh, on the train uh, in order to, to prove this. And uh, of course, we also prepare all the related <coughs> test documentation, uh, which we provide uh, to our external assessor. And then they make an evaluation and they come to a conclusion whether the software that we have developed uh, follows the processes defined on the standard and therefore it can be used for, for passenger uh, usage. Uh, the assessor evaluates uh, TCMS from many different perspectives, of course, uh, but uh, here I have listed uh, the four most important. Of course, we start always with safety and then they look into requirements fulfillment, uh, definitely quality of the documentation that basically proves that we have followed the processes. And of course, uh, they need uh, to look into all the evidence uh, that uh, we provide them uh, that shows that we have followed the processes and that we are compliant with the standard. standard. Uh, but as usual, testing comes at the end, unfortunately, of the complete project uh, life cycle, which means that uh, the phase uh, is quite, uh, quite limited, uh, the time is quite limited. Uh, and uh, because of this, there is the need uh, to reduce uh, the time on testing uh, and therefore uh, lower uh, the cost uh, quite a lot. And now the question is how do we do that? Um, well, here you can see how we at the moment uh, use uh, the VCS and the train uh, comparing to the different test levels. As you can see, uh, we used to execute component and device uh, testing uh, on the simulator uh, completely on the VCS. Then the integration level is done partly on the VCS, but also on the train. And then at the end, uh, we used to uh, execute all the system and validation tests uh, on the train. Our goal is to change this and uh, do something like that. Uh, use VCS even more. Uh, essentially, uh, take away uh, the train uh, when it comes to the integration level uh, and introduce the usage of VCS uh, for, for validation tests of TCMS. That way, we believe that we will lower the cost uh, and uh, we will be able to, to execute uh, the validation tests uh, faster uh, and in a more reliable way, since you can repeat them in a more easier way in the simulator than the train. But then the question is, how do we do that? Uh, well, in order to be able to use uh, a simulator, uh, especially for validation testing, first you have to prove, first to yourself and then to the assessor, 
uh, that uh, the simulator behaves in an equal way as the train. This is the only way to, to, to say that, okay, now we will uh, reduce the time testing of the train and use the simulator as well. So before going to the validation of TCMS, first uh, one has to validate uh, the simulator, the VCS. So we, we, we try to define the strategy uh, that will prove exactly this, that uh, there is an equality uh, from TCMS perspective, uh, because we always focus on how we test TCMS, uh, between the simulator uh, in the lab and uh, the real train. And this is what is this strategy about. Uh, the strategy that we have uh, specified in order to, to, to make this happen. So, um, we call uh, those test comparison tests and essentially we start by creating a set of test cases uh, that uh, will, will focus on fulfilling the VCS requirements. Because as I said, VCS uh, is an application, is an internal product and as such it has its own project lifecycle with requirements, design, implementation, and testing phase. So now what we do is that we create a set of test cases, independent of the TCMS test cases, uh, that will cover all the VCS requirements. And then what do we do? Uh, we go on the real train and we execute those tests. And then as the next step, uh, we execute exactly the same tests uh, in the simulator as well. That way, one has uh, a lot of data from the train and the simulator. And then we compare the results. And uh, we see how, how close is the behavior of the simulator compared to the train. We perform a deep analysis of all the, of all the results. And then we ask ourselves, do we have differences uh, between the train and the simulator? Do we have differences that we can live with or do we have differences that we have to fix in our simulator? Well, if the answer is yes, then we take the decision that we have to update our application, our VCS, uh, which means either updating, of course, the VCS requirements if something is incorrect or if something is missing, uh, or the requirements are okay, and then we simply uh, update uh, our code, our application, and then we iterate once again through the whole loop, we re-execute on the train and the lab, uh, we recompare again, and then we, we perform the analysis in order to determine whether now uh, we have fixed some problems in the simulator. So we execute this process uh, quite a lot of times, depending the quality uh, that we have, uh, until we reach to a conclusion that no more deviations found, or we have a minor set of deviations that are acceptable for our testing, and therefore, we can use now the, the, the simulator in order to validate uh, the TCMS uh, requirements. Uh, some results uh, from this approach that we currently have at the moment. Uh, I think the most important thing is that uh, we have uh, performed this, this process, this strategy, uh, into two different uh, VCS uh, applications and uh, two different uh, external sensors have approved this process, which means that two different VCS projects have been certifying by using this approach, and we can use our, uh, our simulator for validation of TCMS requirements. Uh, but even more important, in my opinion, is the fact that uh, we were able to improve uh, the quality of our software quite a lot, uh, both when it comes uh, to bug fixes and changes uh, that we have introduced in our simulator in order to improve the quality of the software, but even more important, the fact that uh, we have uh, enriched the functionality uh, of the VCS, so we have improved our simulations uh, such that it provides a complete system uh, for, for TCMS testing. Uh, and at the end, uh, we have reached, uh, at least for these two projects, uh, the goal that uh, we have reduced uh, the, the validation testing on train uh, by, by 60% at the moment. Uh, so, yep. That's all. <laughs>